John, can you walk me through the purchase of this uh, new MX330 from Matsura? Buying the Matsura was just a natural progression for Shearline. Um, we're already a user of Matsura machines. We have nine other Matsura machines. Um, at this factory we have some 25 Vs and buying this MX330 behind me was a natural progression because the machine is offering us so much better rigidity along with all of the other advantages that Matsura bring such as longevity, multiple tools which make setup so much more easy. Now the other machines that you'd purchased before uh, were used machines weren't they? So this is your first experience of dealing with Matsura from a new perspective. Uh, any differences? So never having directly dealt with uh, Matsura's sales force before, Dominic was extremely pleased to uh, make his first sale to Shearline in 20 years. He's been trying all of that time to sell us a machine um, and the results behind me. Now what do you see as the main differences then really between what you had before with the MAM and this 330 and what, what difference will it make to your company? We're often being asked by customers to be able to machine larger items so the increase in machining capacity i.e. the physical size of the component which the 330 brings over the existing 25V machines is one advantage. The other advantage is the rigidity of the machine, so the accuracy. The 25Vs are a single knuckle machine, whereas the 330 is a proper Trunnion fifth axis machine. From a business perspective, how, how did you analyse the measure of the investment and what, how you would get a return from it? What were the important factors? The most expensive part of running one of these machines is the operator. The initial machine cost will be far outweighed by the cost over its life of employing somebody to operate and run that machine. So anything that we can do to maximise runtime, especially lights out and unmanned running, is where we can potentially make this machine give us enormous advantages over conventional machines. Are you putting varieties of work through here? Uh, are we dispelling the myth that these are all about volumes of one particular part? Are you changing what you're doing from pallet to pallet? Absolutely. Um, the machine behind me again, you know, we're using it almost like a vending machine. It will have multiple jobs set in it at any time so that we can just bring the correct program up, put the appropriate work holding into the machine, the appropriate material and immediately start machining after we've proven one component off as opposed to going through a setup process with conventional machines. And also the tool changer here, John. You talk about one of your other machines having almost 300 tools or over 300 tools. Yes. What have you got on here? So this machine's a 90 tool machine. So with, with 90 tools, is that not a, a disadvantage to you? It's not a disadvantage. Modern tooling technology has meant that there, one tool can do so much more than potentially 10 or 20 years ago. So arguably you don't quite need so many tools. How long have you wanted this machine? So we've been planning this for over a year um, and obviously with recent events I did probably need to question my sanity as to whether or not going ahead with a purchase of this magnitude was at the right time. But at the end of the day there's no bad time to invest. We have to invest for our future here to survive. Um, automation, um, accurate machining is all required for survival basically. There are a lot of options on the market though when it comes to pallet systems. Um, whether it be you know two different brands working together, where do you see that compared to what you have here? Does this fill you with confidence having one integrated solution? Absolutely, it's one machine from one manufacturer. It's totally integrated. There's no um, third parties involved. The machine just comes in as one unit, installed by Matsura, and it's there running ready to work for us. And how did that installation go with this being the first one that they've actually installed here for you? Very event free. It literally the machine was delivered one day and commissioned over the next couple of days and training followed from that point onwards. Finally, how was dealing with Dom? Looking forward to him selling you a second one? Absolutely, yep. Um, he's already trying to sell us another machine now so uh, yeah, we can't wait for him to be able to come back in the factory.